This is Donna. I'm going to show you six or seven ways to hopefully speed up the time that it takes to boot into Windows 10. The first thing I'm going to do is make sure fast boot is enabled. It probably already is, but let's double check by searching for power options. And it's inside the control panel. Select one of these first two options on the left here. Click on Change Settings that are currently unavailable. Make sure Turn On Fast Startup is checked. And if you had to check it, make sure you click on Save Changes. We're going to check Task Manager to make sure we don't have anything that we don't need starting when we boot our computer. Right click at the very bottom. Click on Task Manager. If needed, click on More Details. Click on Startup. Take a look at all your items. If there's something you don't need, right click on it and select Disable. Now this does not uninstall it. You can still launch things. It's still there. It just won't start up when you boot your computer. So once you're done with that, go ahead and next out. We're going to make sure our Startup folder doesn't have any items in it that aren't needed. So press the Windows key simultaneously with the R key. So Windows R for run, type shell colon startup, no spaces. Enter. And my startup folder's empty, which that's what I want. Go ahead and next out. We're going to take a look at editing startup items using the registry. Now you shouldn't need this, but just in case you already removed some items and you think they're still running, or if you just want to see what else is in there, go ahead and search for REGEDIT. You'll see that program. If you're prompted to allow it, click on Yes. Now, for the current user, go to Current User, Software, Microsoft. We're going to scroll down and go to Windows, current version, scroll down, and go to Run. Now, you see how I had disabled OneDrive, but it's still in my startup folder. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this. And technically, we'll go ahead and do it. I'm going to right-click on Run and export it just for a backup. Just save it anywhere. So I'm just going to make sure I have that. I can always double click on it to import it. So I'm going to go ahead and delete the OneDrive. I'm going to right click, delete it. Okay, now that was for current user. To check it out for all users, go to Local Machine, and we're going to go to Software, Microsoft, basically the same path, Windows, Current Version, Run. Scroll down the, one, the run. And this is for all users. Windows Defender, I want this. I think this is for my touchpad. If you're not sure what it's for, leave it. But if you want to right click on it, if you want to delete something, um, you would right click and select delete. But first, I would right click on the folder level, export it just for safety, name it, and save it. Now you can also look and run once. And you can take a look there. Let's go ahead and X out to close it. Now we're going to turn off special effects. Open our power menu. You can right click on start or do a Windows X. Select system. On the left, select advanced system settings. Under the performance category, click on the settings button. Select the option adjust for best performance and you see it turns all of your special effects off. I mean, they're nice, but they're not needed. Click on Apply, or just 
click on OK and X out. Next, we're going to turn off the transparency visual effect. Right click on your desktop, select Personalize. Over on the left, select Colors. Scroll down, turn off Make Start Taskbar and Action Center Transparent. If you don't really care about all the visual bells and whistles, you can untask your computer a little bit and then just go ahead and X out. Okay, we're going to remove any custom themes. This may not improve your speed a whole lot, but if you have a really old computer, every little bit helps. So right click on the desktop, select Personalize. On the left, select Themes. Click on Theme Settings. Now choose just the default theme. Doesn't have any rotating pictures or anything. And just X out. Now we're going to take a look at reducing the boot menu timeout. If your system is dual boot, do not change these settings. So we're going to go ahead and go to our power menu again. Select System. Click on Advanced System Settings. Click on the Settings button under Startup and Recovery. Uncheck these two items. Now this also takes away your ability to do Shift F8 to get into safe mode right before the Windows startup appears when you first boot. But that doesn't work for most Windows 10 computers anyway. It doesn't work if you have an SSD drive or if your BIOS uses UEFI. So for most people, this won't really take away anything. And then click on OK. Now if your computer still seems to be running too slow, Windows 10 does have a built-in performance troubleshooter. So let's go ahead and go to our Power menu, select Control Panel, go to Troubleshooting, System and Security, and down here select Run Maintenance Task. And it says it will find and clean up unused files, shortcuts, and perform maintenance tasks. And you, you would just click on Next and let that run. Now this last little tip I would not actually recommend unless the computer is just a kiosk and it's never going to access or store data. So maybe if it's frozen or something. But go ahead and search for N-E-T-P-L-W-I-Z. Click on it. Uncheck Users Must Enter a Name and Password and select the user that you want this for. When I hit Apply, it's going to ask me to enter the password and then you would hit OK and then hit OK to get out. Those are some tips. I hope that's helpful. Thank you.